Hey guys, welcome back to the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. I'm the Dog Father. So today we've got a special cook. We're firing up the Lone Star Grills Santa Maria Grill so we can do tri-tip. I may not be from California, but I appreciate a good tri-tip. So that's what we got going on today. But before we get into this cook, hey, if you're new to the channel, thank you for being here. And please consider clicking on that subscribe button down there in the corner so that you get updated every time that I upload a video. Become part of what I call the dog pound, all right? So hey, let's not even put this off any further. Let's get into this. You with it? Let's get it. All right, guys, so hey, first off, I apologize for the wind because it's a very windy day here today. Um, so, but we're gonna make it through this cook. So we're doing some tri-tip on the Lone Star Grill Santa Maria Grill that you see back there. So we're gonna go ahead and get these guys seasoned up. So what I have here is a couple of uh, tri-tips that I got from my uh, local Costco, as you can kind of see there. So we're just gonna get this thing cut out of the, out of the package here. All right, so first up to get this uh, seasoning onto this tri-tip, I'm gonna use a binder. And what I'm gonna use is just some good old olive oil, okay? So we're gonna put a little olive oil on here. And the first thing we're gonna put on is we're gonna put on some regular salt, guys. So I just have some regular kosher salt here, so that's what we're gonna use. All right, now we're gonna follow that up with and forgive me guys, I'll, I'll insert a picture of it here, but I'm using some Southwestern Fajita seasoning from Fiesta, but I've kind of rebranded it into my own different bottle, but that's what I have here. Again, I'll put a link and put a picture of it so you guys can grab it, but it's great stuff. So we're gonna sprinkle some of this on. And then the final layer that I'm gonna put on is just some regular coarse black pepper, guys. So. So just kind of press this in and we're going to flip this meat over and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, gang. So now we got our tri-tip seasoned up. We're going to let them hang out here and rest up and we're going to get over here to this uh, Santa Maria grill and get this thing fired up. All right, let's get this cook going. What are we looking for while we're cooking on this thing? Uh, typically what I like to do on the front end of the cook is I'll get my wood on as again, we're using mesquite today, BNB uh, mesquite wood. And that's what I'm gonna use to get a little bit of smoke into the meat. So what I do is I try to keep the meat a little higher up off of the, the heat source so that it can have some time to absorb some smoke. Well, how do you know if you are cooking too hot or uh, too cool? What I do is I'll put my hand right over top of where the meat is and in between the meat so that I can feel that heat come up from the bottom. If I can hold my hand there for say maybe five seconds, then I know it's cool enough that it's gonna be absorbing some of that smoke flavor from the, uh, from the wood. So that's what I kind of look for. Uh, again, on the Santa Maria grill, you don't wanna cook it too super hot with this expanded metal because you don't want it warping and all of that type of thing. So I try to make sure that I uh, keep mindful of the temperatures that I'm cooking at there. And I'll use that hand test pretty regularly throughout the cook. So once we get this thing up to, uh, we're gonna probably shoot for 
uh, about 95 degrees, 100 degrees or so, and then we'll flip this meat over and try to get some more smoke in on the other side up to about 115. That's right, these temperatures you're hearing, it's about that reverse sear. That's kind of what I kind of do whenever I cook on the uh, Santa Maria like this. So we're going to go ahead and let this thing uh, continue to absorb some of that smoke from this mesquite. And uh, man, we'll go ahead and get this cook going. All right, guys? So we're going to look for an internal temperature on this thing for it to call it done somewhere around 140 degrees or so, 135, 140 degrees or so. So uh, let's let this LSG do what it does. All right? All right. All right, gang, so hey, we got this tri-tip off. So tell you what, because you're watching this video, you hung in there this long, I've got a little bonus for you. We're gonna throw some corn on. We're gonna make some Mexican street corn or, you know, a variation of it. So let's get some corn put on this grill, all right? Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are going to put together this corn here. It's going to be kind of my variation of a Mexican street corn, if you will. Uh, to get this together, you saw we already grilled up our corn. I've got some melted butter here. This is about a stick right now. Uh, and I've got some mayonnaise here. This is probably a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise because uh, I'm only going to season up here just a couple of them. But uh, And right here is going to be some uh, queso fresco. So I know I tried that. Let's go. Anyway, uh, cotillo cheese, call it that. So anyway, so we got the cotillo cheese, we got our butter, we've got our mayonnaise, and we've got our corn. Uh, the last ingredient to put that together is going to be this right here, guys. It's going to be some uh, chili powder. And again, Fiesta brand chili powder is what I'm using today. So we're going to go ahead and get this put together, show you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to take a corn, and uh, again, I just put a little wooden skewer into the corn here, as you guys can see. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some butter and just put some butter all over this corn. Got it nicely coated with the butter. And then we're going to take our mayonnaise with a little, uh, little rubber uh, spatula here. We're going to put some mayonnaise onto our uh, corn. like so and then we're gonna roll this around a little bit in this uh, in the cheese so we'll get it like so and the final step will be sprinkle this paprika on I know I said paprika, but it's really chili powder, guys. All right, guys. Hey, before we get this tri-tip cut up, I want to talk to you a little bit about the cutting board that I'm going to be using today. This so, cutting board here, as you can see, is a, a white, black, white cutting board that was made by uh, my man Ian over at Custom Cutting Boards R Us. Uh, I, this one here I absolutely love. As you can see, it's got you know the two handles here that you can pick this thing up and move it around wherever you want. It's got a 
great grease trough here or you know for juices retaining the juices from anything that you're cutting up uh, and it's uh, pretty deep and it's all the way around the entire uh, perimeter of this board so absolutely you can contact Ian over at uh, Custom Cutting Boards or us and man whatever your imagination can come up with Ian can probably build it for you and you know get it done the way you want it uh, it doesn't have to be a straight rectangle shape it can be whatever shape that you want it to be uh, and you can move around the grease trough and maybe you don't want it to run all the way around maybe you only want it to run one direction or you know whatever whatever you come up with I'm sure my man E can take care of you so do yourself a favor and check that description box below for the uh, information to go check out custom cutting boards or us go hit up Ian and tell him the dog father sent you all right all right guys let's get this tri tip cut up all right gang so hey we're back we got our tri-tip off it's rested and now we're going to go ahead and get this thing sliced up and one thing that i just want to show i know you've probably seen tri-tip you know cut before but i want to show you guys just to make sure you don't just cut the tri-tip from one side all the way to the other okay um tri-tip can have three different directions that the grain may may run and you always want to cut against the grain so what i've got here is if you can kind of see this you can kind of see the grain is running kind of this way here. It's running this way here. So this one looks like it has about two different directions actually that the grain is running. So you don't want to just cut this way all the way across this tri-tip as you, you kind of see a lot of people do. Uh, it's not really accurate to do that. So I'm going to show you here. You just want to kind of cut and then turn your meat as you have to, okay? Because again, the grain right here on this side of it, it's running this way. So we're not gonna just keep cutting the same way, okay? So we're gonna get this thing cut. And again, you can kind of see the grain is turning a little bit. So we're going to start to cut where we turn against it. And you can either turn this way or this way, whichever. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go this way. And so there you go, guys. That's how you end up cutting your tri-tip. You don't want to just cut it from one side all the way across to the other. You want to make sure you're cutting against the grain the entire way of the tri-tip. So make sure you're turning it to get the correct cut the way you want to. The difference is going to be all in that tenderness, all right? So I'm going to get these other two cut. I know you don't want to stick around and watch that, so I'll bring you back when I finish doing that, all right? Let's go ahead and get this assembled. So what we got here is we got our, our sliced tri-tip here cut up and uh, looking pretty good I might add. We've got some uh, pico de gallo and we've got our uh, queso fresco. Cotillo cheese, okay? Alright, so we're going to grab us a couple of tortillas here that we pulled off of our Lone Star Grills. And the way I'm going to plate this up is going to be very simple. We do like our uh, tri-tip cut into bigger pieces, so we just kept them uh, pretty good size here. All right, so now we got our tortillas and we got our tri-tip on it and we're gonna hit it with a little pico. And finally, we're gonna hit it with our cotillo cheese. All right, so just like that, guys, that's what we got. We got our tri-tip tacos. And uh, I might add, they're looking pretty good. So uh, guys, it's a very simple cook, very fast cook, uh, very good cook. So hey, it's Tuesday. I'm going to call it Tri-Tip Tuesday. It doesn't have to be Taco Tuesday. Let's go Tri-Tip Tuesday right here on Barbecue Boulevard, all right? Hey, thank you guys for stopping by, checking out the video. I appreciate it. If you could, give me a thumbs up if you like what you saw here. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber already or part of my dog fam. And hey, guys, share it out on your social media and tell everybody that the dog father is doing some things over here. So, hey, have a great day, guys. I'm going to get into these tacos. Know what I'm saying?